So today we're going to be going into Procreate's gesture control settings as well as preference settings so that you guys can adjust it to what best suits you. So to start off, go ahead and press on the wrench tool on the top left corner next to gallery and then press on preferences over here and we're going to get a list of options to adjust. Let's just go through them one by one. The first one being the light interface. You can see here I have it turned off and when I turn it on, my interface becomes entirely white. Now if you guys don't want to burn your eyes off, just go ahead and turn that off. The second one is the right hand interface. And if you press on it, you'll see that this toolbar goes all the way to the right. And this is mainly an option for the people that are left-handed so that they can adjust their opacity and brush size while they're drawing. But seeing as I'm right-handed, we're gonna turn that off. Onto the third one would be dynamic brush scaling. And by turning this on, this feature will make it so that your brush stays the same size no matter how zoomed in you are into your canvas. Whereas if I were to turn it off, if I draw on this scale of my canvas and then zoom in, it will not be the same size. And you can see the drastic difference. Up next is the option to project your canvas. And by pressing this, you'll have the option to airplay your canvas onto whatever device you would like. So if you guys don't want to use your iPad as a display, you can use something else. We're just not going to do that. And under that, you'll find brush cursor. And with that, you'll find that whenever you place your brush on your screen, you'll have a cursor outlining how big your brush is. Whereas if I didn't have it on, I won't know how big my brush is unless I touch up this right here. I personally like to keep this on just so I know what size my brush is. And if we go over to advanced cursor settings, you'll see that you have a bunch of options with your cursor. You have the option of showing while hovering, showing while painting, or both. And as well as the brush outline style, you can adjust it so that it's high contrast, meaning it's black, outlining your brush. You'll also have active color meaning it's going to use the color you're using on the top right corner to outline the brush size and also per brush. Now let's go back under that. You'll see pressure and smoothing. So this is simply a way so that you guys can adjust your Apple pressure sensitivity that best suits you. And the easiest way for you guys to understand this feature is this bottom line here is a force detected on your Apple pencil. And this left line here is the force applied. Meaning the lower this line is, the harder I would have to apply my brush onto my canvas for me to get darker lines. And the higher this bottom line is, the easier it is for me to put darker lines onto my canvas with less pressure. Now, additionally, if you press on the grid, you'll be able to add more anchor points so you guys can adjust it to how you would like. But if you guys don't want to do it yourself and want a straight template to use, I'll go ahead and drop a picture right here so you guys can go off of that. And just go ahead and pause the video and copy it. Okay, so we're just going to go back to the settings. Under you'll find gesture controls, but we're going to be covering that last. So let's go over to the next one. So under gesture controls, you'll find rapid undo delay, meaning you can adjust the time between your undos and your redos on your tablet. Now for me personally, I like to keep it at 0.44 seconds, but you have the option of bringing it to completely zero or the option of taking it to 1.50 seconds. Under rapid undo delay, you'll find selection mask visibility. That meaning when you use the selection tool, you're able to go around it and then highlight it, but the selection mask is not very visible at all. Whereas if I were to go back into the settings and adjust the selection mask visibility to hundred and I were to go and select my object once again, you'll see that the selection mask is very much visible now. And my personal preference for this option is to keep it at about 15.5%. Under the selection mask, you'll find size and opacity toolbar. By turning this off, you're going to be taking away your toolbar on the left or on the right, wherever you placed it. And by turning it back on, you'll see it reappear. So now all we got left is gesture controls. Let's go ahead and press on that. And you'll see you have a plethora of options to choose from. Don't be intimidated by it. I promise you it's simple. You'll see the gesture controls. You can adjust smudge, erase, assisted drawing, eyedropper, quick shape, quick menu, full screen, clear layer, copy and paste, layer select, hover, and general. So once you guys have selected the option you would like to adjust, you'll have the option to customize it on the right side. Procreate's gonna be giving you a very descriptive detail of what you'll be adjusting. It makes it very easy to understand. So don't worry about getting confused. Now we're not gonna be covering everything on here because this video is gonna to become too long, but I'll be sharing my personal settings that I like. Now, if I didn't cover anything on the left side of this list, that just means I didn't touch it and I left it as the default setting. Now, if you guys go over to the eyedropper tool, you'll see I have two options turned on. I have tapping the square will dismiss or invoke the eyedropper tool and as well as touch and holding the finger on the canvas will invoke eyedropper and I have it on a 0.40 second delay.
If you go over to quick shape, you'll see at the very bottom here, I have draw and hold on at a 0 0.65 second delay. If you go to the full screen, I have the four finger tap feature on, meaning when I tap my four fingers on my canvas, all my tools will disappear and it'll be in a full screen. If you go to copy and paste, you'll see I have the three finger swipe on, meaning when I swipe down with three fingers on my canvas, I will get an options menu. Under that, you'll find layer select, and I have the third option turned on, meaning when I hold down the square box tool and place on my Apple Pencil at the same time, it will find the layer for me. And then if we go down to general, now if you guys do have this feature on, I would suggest you turn it off because if any part of your hand touches your screen, you will be drawing with your hand as well as your pencil. So you guys are gonna have a bunch of black marks all over your screen. And I know when I first started using Procreate, I was wondering why a bunch of random marks were all over my screen while I was drawing with my Apple Pencil. So I would suggest you guys turn it off for sure. Now guys, obviously you don't have to copy my settings exactly. I would say to play around with the settings and see what works for you and your workflow. So we've gone ahead and covered everything in the preferences and the gesture controls so that you guys can have a better workflow in Procreate. Eventually I'll be covering the brush tool and how you guys can customize your brushes to how you would like. If you guys want to go ahead and see that, go ahead and follow my channel and give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. Follow my TikTok or my YouTube shorts if you guys are interested in learning quick hacks and tips for Procreate. Till next time.